You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Just another laundry day for Abigail Sorensen, a woman shrouded by a cloud of dizzy spells and post-traumatic stress. The past remains a constant source of anxiety, and it will be ever more present in the Twilight Zone. Honey, where are you? The library. Why? Can you come home? Why? What's wrong? Please, I don't know what's going on, but I need you. <sighs> I'm on my way. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll be there soon. Hey, what's going on? So I was reading this book and I got transported inside of it. What? I know it sounds crazy, but I was there. I saw this man giving a speech. How did this happen? I read the book while I was waiting for my clothes, and then I went out the doors, and that's it. All right. Let's do it together. Now, take my hand, and let's go out. Okay. I don't understand. It happened before. Honey, let's lay down, okay? I could have sworn. They say never judge a book by its cover. However, as Abigail Sorensen discovered, it may be wise to do so, especially when passing through the Twilight Zone. 